update as we are awaiting the image of our new Kaya Tansha at siya po sa kasalukuyan ay nailabas na sa Plaza Miguel Robles de Comarubia sa Old Strike at sa mga sandali ito na nandito siya sa Old Mo sa May Intersection at Pedro Prasha Avenue at Pansa Isang Avenue Siya po ay napapaligiran ng Sofradia de San Jose na sa po siya po first batch ng mga nakabulig sa kanyang anilas And eventually, as the procession is going through the stretch of Peña Francia Avenue, the boy will be... We have extended our love to them. Siguro, ito yung pinaka-challenge. Uh, kaya, uh, babagal, well, hindi madali yung frustration. Kasi ito yung mga aspects na hindi pa namin nakikita. Siguro ito para sa akin is a, uh, uh, a concrete expression that we have to look into so that we can immediately become a truly simulation. So siguro to summarize this, uh, I'm reading this uh, with my previous question about the outcome of the synodality and the relation ng mga Uh, the vote is that thing like mga boy doris siguro ito sa isa sa mga feeling na feeling na the outcome ng ng ano ng generality since they, they belong and they will participate they will cooperate because kung baga sa big world para kuyang mahal na Yesu Cristo Viva el Divino Rostro Viva Viva el Divino Rostro Pagkalabos na iwagayway po nato sa tuya mga puting panyo sa maugmang pagsabat sa mahal na lawag ni Yesu Cristo ang El Divino Rostro. Viva El Divino Rostro! Viva! Viva El Divino Rostro! Viva! Viva El Divino Rostro! Viva! Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the special devotion to the Divino Rostro started here in Naga during the time of the Most Reverend Casimiro Herrera. To make it easier for the devotees to give them their devotion and implore the divine intercession of Jesus during the whole duration of the epidemic, Father Pedro de la Torre, the Vicar General of the Diocese of Nueva Cáceres, requested Bishop Herrera to enshrine the Holy Picture at the Cathedral. As a result of the Piccolano's great manifestation of their faith, the threat of the dreaded disease was dispelled. They were spared from being stricken by the cholera. This event led to the decision of the Catholic hierarchy to celebrate the feast of the Divino Rostro and Peña Francia together. It became part of the tradition until the Sa pag-abot, kalandas ang Divino Rostro. 